What is up, you guys? <laughs> what is going on, you guys? I'm fishing today with the little bro. Also, look at this disgusting hickey. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just gross. It's just nasty. Anyways, we're going to go do some European nymphing. Um, we went and fished a little bit and did this method a little while ago, and he caught a bunch of fish, and like now he's like all hooked on it. So we're going to go actually back to the same area that I, the last video that, we ha that I shot was um, and try and get him in, into some bigger fish on the Euro rig. We have a net now. So, big fish, bigger fish will be landed, hopefully. So, we'll see how it goes. It's pretty hot today, but um, should be decent. So, uh, let's see if we can get into some. So, I've been fishing by myself a lot, so I haven't really been able to show you guys exactly what the rig that we're doing is. Um, and I've gotten a ton of questions on exactly how I rig this. So, I'm going to show you guys. So, I have a 10 and a half foot uh, three weight. It's a Cortland competition nymph rod. Um, I run about... my leader as a whole is about 20 feet long um, so it's a pretty long leader but um, basically I'll run eight or nine feet of 15 pound monofilament on the top and then this is just amnesia so, so this is just amnesia which is just like a colored monofilament so it floats so I'll run red to green to red again and basically that just helps with different contrasts in like light scenarios so you can kind of see better and then we're running a small little tippet ring. It's a little metal ring. And then we'll tie off of that. And we're going to run straight fluorocarbon, um, or whatever tippet size you're fishing. So if you're going to fish 6X, run all 6X. And the big reason behind that is because it sinks way faster. So we're going to run, I, I run about six feet of, of uh, this is going to be 4X fluorocarbon down to my, where I uh, tie my double surgeon's knot. I actually tie a triple surgeon's knot because I feel like my doubles always break. So I have a triple surgeon's knot, then I have this tied to a small, may or this is actually a size 14 mayfly pattern right there. Pretty good bug, looks pretty tasty. And then I tie that on the tag end and then all the way down here, we have a small tungsten surveyor, which is just a little sow bug pattern. Really simple, rainbow dubbing, wire body, and then just some orange dubbing for a hot spot there. And that's the entire rig. Um, and basically all we do is you're casting up, kind of dipping into this pocket water and following it down. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of that today, try and get into some big fish and we should be able to have a good time. So uh, let's get out on the water. That was a fish. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> so like just do a regular like big looping cast from on your right on your right side you're fine yeah there you go now you can get all the way over there keep that rod tip up don't mend set see just like that nice dude throw me your net oh throw me your net whoa toss it toss it toss the net Nice, dude. See, you're right in that, right on that far side, wherever you should have been. It's a good fish, too. Nice, man. Oh, yeah. Kind of crank this way a little bit. See if you can get him over to me. Probably you're fine on that rock, too. He'll probably come over here, but if I got to get off this rock, I got to get off the oh, rock. Yeah. Dude, it's a great fish. Nice, dude. Yeah. Turbo chunk. <laughs> Sweet. It's a nice fish, man. Yep. Oh, he's out of here. He did hook one right here, though. Yeah. Four fish. Man. I don't even know if this GoPro is recording right now. I can't remember. This is like a freaking. Oh, it's a whitey. Ah, yeah. oh, he's out of here. Count. I don't land any fish. That's surprising. Well, Cuddy. Yeah. Oh, he's out. Nice. Whoa. 
Whoa. Give me that net, son. Whoa. Fish is pissed. bigger than most of the fish we caught right, that other right. day. So literally this big old cutty was sitting in this right here, guys. Freaking nuts, which is dope. That's a nice cut there. He's probably 17, 16 inches. Yeah. Big, long, pretty fish. Nice. Yeah, there's a big brown in there, dude. Oh. Uh, you spook him? Yeah. Oh, maybe not. I don't think so. Oh, 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 oh. He followed it. Did he? That's a big brown trout, dude. Dude, that's a 20, that's a 21, 22 inch fish right there. I can, yeah, you good. <laughs> that's a good fish. Can you take my picture, bro? Yeah. So this is a nice fish on the Euro rig. It's pretty quick water. Nice big brown trout. Pretty stoked on him. He's probably 20, 21 inches long. Good fish when we go. <laughs> so dope. Seeing that seam on a different side. Good. Set her a little higher. There you go. Nice, dude. Oh, that's a good fish. Nice, buddy. Is that a whitey? Yeah. I think it's a white fish. Sweet, dude. Oh, wait. It's a rainbow. Or a cutty. Or a cutty. Keep tight on him. Oh, sheesh. I can't tell. It's a cutty. Cutty? Yeah, it's a pretty cutty, too. Dude. Nice, man. Look at that fish, guys. Pretty cutthroat. I thought it was a white fish there for a minute. Well, you guys, it's a little slower than, uh, than anticipating, anticipated. Yeah. Uh, caught a couple good fish. That one brown was pretty sweet. He had like a mini kite. It was like a mini mega fish. Yeah. And caught a bunch that of was cutties, which was weird. But that yeah, was a fun day. Glad my little brother come fish a little bit. Um, again, just. I guess you get kind of spoiled with the Euro rig. Some days you just like slay, and so every day you're expecting to be insane. So like we were like getting in pockets, and we we're like, "What? Didn't catch a fish here? Like that's great!" Like blown away more often than not that we didn't catch a fish in a spot than when we did. So it ended up being still a fun day. Got some fun fish, and uh, hopefully you guys were able to see a little bit of the rigging and kind of get a feel for exactly what, oops, what that rig actually looks like because that's pretty important. When I actually got my rig properly set up i started catching a lot more fish and uh it ended up being a lot more successful but either way thanks for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in a little bit bye